bottling again. Oatmeal stout. It smells good. I messed up and looked at the porter carbonation. But it's within the style limit, so I'm leaving it. It's going to be a low carbonated oatmeal stout. You've probably figured out that I'm not a teetotaler. And on a brewing forum, it is not a rare instance. Instance. For somebody to realize they're a problem drinker and quit drinking. I mean, you're brewing five gallons of beer at a time. Some people brew 10, 15 gallons at a time. And it's fairly easy, especially if you keg, to fit this in once a week. So you can make a lot of beer. If you can't control yourself, you can drink a lot of beer. And you control the alcohol content. If you have no self-control, you start jacking the alcohol content up to 9%. Which is a problem most young brewers have. Everything has to be high alcohol and then you drink it like it's regular beer. And if you weren't an alcoholic, you end up being one because you're down you're out drunk every time you drink. I really don't like out of control alcoholics. I don't mind if you're an alcoholic and you stay in control. If you're able to not let it run your life, I don't care if you're addicted. Most of the people I've known, friends, are alcoholics so I was always a designated driver and there's been times where I decided I wanted to drink so I wanted to not be the designated driver once my alcoholic friends would get around alcohol being drunk they couldn't handle not drinking so responsible old me would have to stop drinking because I knew once they started they wouldn't stop and that is the kind of alcoholism I don't like now I just don't understand that I mean, I'm such a lightweight that if anybody should be getting drunker than, than they intended, it should be me. I don't have a problem. Actually, I have, my problem is when I want to get drunk, I just can't drink fast enough to get drunk. And that's why I like stuff like tequila. So I, I can just do a shot, and I'll get a good buzz off a shot, and if I do more than a shot an hour, it's not that long before I'm drunk, and then I just quit. And my alcoholic friends, they would see a stockpile of alcohol as a challenge to finish it, and finish it right then and there. And that includes my alcohol that they didn't pay for. 
and I like to keep a stockpile of alcohol so I can have variety when I want it. I want a margarita. I don't want to have to run to the store and buy a bit of tequila. When I want it, I want it there for me. Well, one time a friend, which I use the term loosely, after I was in bed, and I think after my roommate was in bed, he got up and searched the house for alcohol and drank every drop of alcohol in the house. And he searched the medicine cabinet for whatever. And he passed out and pissed on the floor and threw his underwear and... Or did he throw his underwear? It was in a cabinet. I think it was a food cabinet because I refused to use the cabinet ever since then. Until I got new cabinets. And that was the last time he was ever here. And I don't feel sorry for alcoholics. Like some people do. Because they could control themselves if they wanted to. At some point, long before an alcoholic realizes it. You should wake up and say, hey, I need a drink. And I don't like to be controlled by something other than myself. And they don't. And they don't because they don't want to. And I can relate to it being self-medicating for some other problem. Dulls the pain or whatever. But most of the alcoholics I know don't have pain to dull. They just like being drunk. Plus, when it comes to dulling pain, I could handle taking Xanax every day, and I don't. And by handle taking Xanax every day, I could use Xanax every day. And I'm sure if I took it every day, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Although I've never had a problem being addicted to Xanax, I have had a problem with opiates prescribed. I just get addicted to opiates for when I get them for pain really quick. And I noticed I was addicted and stopped taking them even though I was still in pain. And the next time I was prescribed opiates, I paid more attention so I wouldn't get addicted. So yeah, I'm not gonna feel sorry for any alcoholics. So my warning to young brewers and just people who like to drink in general. Keep it under control. Because if you don't, it'll fuck up your life. And then you'll have to quit. And it's never any fun quitting something that you like doing. <laughs>